Distillery in Northeast Minneapolis, and we're talking about their gin today yes. with their owner, Brian. So make sure you watch the whole episode because our recipe today is really easy. It's one that you can make at home with stuff most people just already have in their kitchen. Yep, exactly. All right, so we're going to get started right away. We're going to have Brian come on over, and he is the owner here at Wander North. And so he's going to tell us a little bit about just their product line. So our first kind of question will be, um, what sets you apart from the other distilleries as far as just like your line, what you offer here, and how you produce it? Yeah, so um, thanks for having me on, first and foremost. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so this is our product line. Uh, working from left to right, uh, we have the Outpost Vodka and the Waypoint Gin. Both of those are grain to glass, so made 100% here. We use uh, we get corn from Flugel Elevator down in Rosemount. They get it from local grown farmers. So we mill it, mash it, ferment it, distill it, distill it again, and um, we distill it just above 190 proof, uh, which is what it needs to be to call be called vodka or gin. Right. So it leaves a little bit more flavor than some others are going to have. Uh, our gin, as you probably noted, uh, is not super heavy on the juniper. Correct. Uh, we, use, yeah. we have to use juniper, but uh, on the other hand, it allows some of the other botanicals to come through, and that is bottled at 100 proof. Okay. Um, Maybe you can talk a little bit about the flavors in the other botanicals. Because yeah. when we tried it, our process is we try the gin meat, and then mm -hmm. we try to build a cocktail on top of that. And obviously the first thing we notice is there's a little bit of juniper. Yeah. So yeah. what are, in your words, like what's the flavor profile? Um, it's it's going to be subtle. Mm -hmm. It's probably the first one I've heard people yeah. refer to it as a shy gin. Okay. That it isn't, uh, you know, like, oh, that's juniper. Right. Um, <laughs> people that love a London dry style gin tend to be, you know, that's that's not my preferred. People that are kind of scared of gin, uh, I don't want to say it's a starter training rule, but it, it's something that a lot of people do enjoy that are. They won't be quite so scared of Exactly. Like the smell yeah. of Christmas in your face. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Smell like evergreen um, trees. <laughs> but uh, additionally, we have uh, coriander, cardamom, rose hips, oh, star anise, uh, cucumber, and citrus zest in there. Oh, so that's so. kind of how we found our drinks mm -hmm. very citrus forward. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, yep. That mixes well with it. Yeah. Um, and then uh, the other two vodka and gin that we have there is uh, what we call our value line or uncrafted. And uh, what we do is it's still 100% distilled in Minnesota, but uh, glacial green spirits out of the vents in Minnesota. Uh, distills up to 199 proof, okay. and we can buy that cheaper than we can buy the corn to make our own. Oh, wow. Um, and so, because it costs us less, because there's about $100 less of our time involved in this, which is significant. It's significant. <laughs> yeah. Um, we're able to offer that at a lower price. So, um, those are typically hit the shelves around $15 a bottle or under. Which is a um, really good price point. Just to have, you know, a bottle like for your home bar and just for like your everyday cocktail. Right. right. Something super easy. And, and you know, it, it really boils down to um, it, it's it's great to have the, the handcrafted, but on the other hand, especially if you're mixing it with a Bloody Mary or something like that, you still yeah. want to support local, uh, but um, you don't want to use a $25 vodka that's going to get all covered up in there. So with your bloody mix. Exactly. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah. Where can people find us? Uh, we're at about 300 uh, liquor stores oh, around the state. So their um, local neighborhood store is probably just fine. Yep. Or uh, and online. If, can, uh, do you have a list online? We do not right okay. now have a list online. Uh, but Vinicopia is our vendor, our distributor. Oh, so uh, they're they're calling on just about every liquor store as well. Yeah, so they're all they can ask. Um, and then uh, the other two products, and you asked what really sets us apart, yeah. uh, is we work being here in Northeast Minneapolis. We there's a couple breweries around here. Just a couple. Okay, just, um, <laughs> just a couple. And what we do is uh, we work with a lot of the breweries, and uh, we'll take their beer and make a whiskey out of it. That's awesome. Uh, I love that. And uh, so what you've got your hands on right now is it's Uncharted. called Uncharted. Uh, there's the reason called Uncharted is nobody in the upper mid Midwest is doing this, so yeah. it's kind of this new process. And what we do is um, all whiskey starts off as beer. Uh, it, all whiskey must be made, made from grain, beer must be made from grain. And so instead of doing the mashing, milling, fermenting ourselves, we take their beer and uh, we'll distill it, 
and put it into barrels, and it sits there for at least a year. Uh, the next one coming out is uh, with Modest. It's their wasteland, and it'll be in for at least 18 months. Oh, I was going to ask you that, because this one says batch four with 56 and inbound. So yeah. I was going to say, do you rotate through different breweries? And like, yes. Do you have favorite ones that you work with? Um, they're all favorites. Um, <laughs> yeah. Like, please, <laughs> not the show yeah. partiality. Uh, no. <laughs> Just so, flavor-wise, like ones that you find to mesh well to uh, create your product. The, uh, the, the, brown, the darker ales, uh, oh, sure. stouts and, and porters work really nice. But uh, what's really interesting is most people have never had the beer that whiskey is made from. So if you're a whiskey fan, uh, this gives you an opportunity to try the whiskey and say, okay, here's some of these flavors. And then when we launch it, we'll, uh, we've done it at Spring Street Tavern, we've done it at Grumpy's Northeast, yeah. we've done the launch, and you can go have the whiskey and the beer side by side. Yeah, period. That's really cool. And uh, it's really interesting to uh, uh, 612, I'm a very good friend with the owner. Yeah. And uh, when he was trying them side by side, it was he was picking up notes of the uh, 612 unrated after trying the whiskey that he hadn't really noticed before. Interesting. So, yeah. That's really cool. That's that a fun very tasting cool experience. Thing. Because then you're, you know, helping and supporting your local breweries and your distilleries. Yeah. And it's everyone working together, which we really like. Yeah. Well, and then uh, we also suggest uh, to our customers is pick up and save some each batch. Because each batch, because the beer tastes different, the whiskey tastes different. So what we did for our anniversary last summer, we did a flight of one through four, and people could try all four and say, hey, wow, this is what this made, or this IPA gave it a So the different, score. the different yeah. batches are going to taste different, obviously. Yeah, yeah. exactly. That is a very cool thing, and that definitely sets you guys apart. That's awesome. Yep. And then the last one is another, uh, working with a, you guys probably have never heard of the Sociable Cider Works. No, They're never. pretty small. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and uh, we take the, their juice, um, their, their cider that they get, um, and we get ferment it, distill it, and barrel age it for about three months and uh, make an Applejack. Applejack is a very traditional pioneer drink. Um, it was traditionally made by freeze distillation or leaving it outside when it's really cold and the Which ice you freezes. Here. You can do that and you can do it legally. It's the only distillation <laughs> that's legal in the United States. So, I smell it. Yeah. And oh, all stuff all over the place. <laughs> I have problems today. <laughs> Ooh, it smells, you can smell like apple. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. And we'll be washing that top. No. I'm oh, sorry. No, no, that's okay. Uh, <laughs> the, uh, oh, water right here. The, uh, I think it's because I'm cold. <laughs> one of the big things too is uh, when we put a rock in that, when we're doing some tasting, uh, that, that ice and water really opened up the nose and you could get honey crisp out of it. So oh, like it's that. really uh, apple. Yes, very good. So yeah, that's our that's our product lineup. Uh, I love that you have so there's so much variety. Yeah, you know, there's different price points, different varieties, different collaborations. It um, I feel like it really shows what our Minneapolis community is all about. Yeah, definitely. Uh, and then uh, in the works, we've got bourbon in barrels. We're putting down uh, some of the Applejack for two plus years to make a full apple brandy. Wow, uh, that's what those barrels that you saw me playing with earlier are for. Okay. And Thank you very much, both, for coming on in. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Thanks. All right. Perfect. Okay. So One thing we do want to say about Wander North, which is really cool, oh, yeah. um, they do donate a percentage of their profits to local charities, which we are really passionate about giving back to the community, which is one of the things that stuck out to us for this distillery. So you guys definitely need to check them out. Obviously, that is very cool. So yep. let's um, make our drink now. And I'm not going to touch anything because I'm not probably, allowed to touch open probably drop it all. all. <laughs> oh dear. So um, this week we're going to make um, a drink with the Waypoint Gin and we're adding one and a half ounces of that. Mm -hmm. We're adding um, two drops of orange bitters and we have Bitter Cube we really like their line. Bitters this week. Yeah. And, and I just picked that up at the local liquor store. Yeah, and then this is the syrup that. The simple syrup, yep. We're using just a dash of a raspberry 
very simple syrup, just to give it a little bit of sweetness. Um, it's just very easy to make. I literally bought raspberries, soaked them with sugar and water, and then just strained it. I, I double strained it. I guess. Like coffee filter strained it. Yeah. <laughs> I did it through a like mesh strain, and then I went through a coffee filter. So I didn't want any of like seeds or anything like that to be in there. Um, when we design our cocktails, we really like to keep it decently simple to the point where you don't have to run around town to a bunch of different stores finding all the ingredients or right. feeling like you need a full bar, bar set up yeah. with equipment. Yes. And she's just going to strain it into the glass with some ice. And then we're going to add um, LaCroix, Let's mango like LaCroix, apple. to top it off. And then lime, lime wedge. Which if you rim the glass with lime and then place it, you get, you don't have to necessarily put lime juice in the drink. You still get that taste of it and it's a little more refreshing, I think. Yeah, it's very refreshing. But yes. Cheers. 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 Right, should we go on a tour? Have... Let's go on a tour. We have uh, some people that have joined us and thanks for joining us. This is Tim from Copper Wing. Hungry Girl is here. We love her. Her fitness videos are awesome. Golden Cocktails and our friends at Craft Notes and Thrifty Head. Alright, we're gonna grab my phone here, so. You got it? You're not yeah, gonna I'm not it. gonna drop it this time. <laughs> awesome. So, this all right. is their production area. This is where they do all of the magic. We've got the they barrels. Still their barrels what we are totally mature about the minute we walk Oh yeah, in. let's show them this. This was our first question. Is butt loads really a way to measure liquid? Liquid. Because <laughs> that's forever what we're going to be using. Apparently, so, apparently it is, guys. When you need to go get milk, just tell your kids you're getting like a quarter butt load of milk. A quarter? 126 <laughs> gallons of butt loads. She has, so, she has so, three kids. <laughs> I literally need a quarter, I guess. <laughs> So now we're gonna take you through. I was gonna <laughs> we're gonna take you through to their cocktail room, and it is very cozy. They've got uh, wood plank tables everywhere, and their bar set up with really cool. I love how they do like the um, like the, the chalkboard. chalkboard and Let's yeah. Let's show them the infused vodkas for bloodies. Those Ooh. Are really cool. Yes, and Saturdays they have um, Bloody Mary. They also have other things that you can come and do during the week. They have trivia every Wednesday. They have so adult coloring. Have friends, trivia, you guys can come take us on. Yeah. <laughs> what did, I think he said like the third Thursday. It's yep. some, some specific schedule. Thursday. Yes, I'm sure they have it all up on their website. Instagram, give them a follow. You guys can do tours, you can come get swag. Back here, they have all of their infused vodkas, which is really cool. So these ones are jalapeno, horseradish, grapefruit, elderflower, dill. Um, like, how good and spicy would a habanero Bloody Mary be? Yeah, oh my gosh, too spicy for me. But it sounds spicy. <laughs> I won't be having that. All right, so their drink special right now is a Cucumber Collins. They also have... Um, Menus for local places. Yep, you can order if you're food. hungry. Um, yeah, so it's really just a very relaxed atmosphere, I would say. Definitely. Just kind of... You can come and play games. Have fun. Come and have fun. Good place to chill. Try out all of their spirits because they're... There's a lot to try. There's a lot to try. Um, test them all out. Yeah. Then, and you will be all set. So th these are our drinks that we did for today. We're calling it a gin spritzer type of thing, yeah, I it suppose. Is. It's a raspberry lime spritzer. Yeah. Spritzer. All right. So thank you guys for joining us today. Hope we had a good happy hour. hour. Yes. Have a great happy hour. Start your happy hour now. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs>